Welcome back, Crazy Go here. Another uh, banish episode. So we got our crops going. We got a house that's almost done. And we got a gatherer's hut ready. We should probably put one worker in there. Couldn't hurt to have. Well, I'm going to say no. We have two crops going right now. We have. No, because then winter comes and we won't have. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's put one worker in there. At least one worker. That will leave us with how many laborers? Three. And three builders. That's fine. The builders will help gather resources. Um, so we don't want to run out of food for sure. I mean, it is. We're already down to 309 food. And the crop's only at 24%. Oh! 200 food. Wow. There we go. Food is low. And firewood is low. Um, that's because they have them putting it in the new house. See the wood house? Or new house. Oh, I lied. It's about to though. They're about to put the food and the firewood in there. There we go. I think just to be safe, we're going to put somebody in here. Um, I'm going to put it to work. Put one in there. We are down to two laborers. Alrighty then. Let's, uh, fire one of these builders just in case and let's see we should finish this road over here so that our fishermen can get there I hate to do it but we're gonna get rid of this little bitty tree here um, harvest that now our builders we're gonna build a road goes right to here and oh um, actually let's do this house is right there or this shop sorry let's just put the road right here and then we'll put it around the tree there we go and let us cancel that road production oops round one let's see cancel road there we go well it's supposed to cancel the road oh cancel build there we go this will cancel this there we go yeah we'll let that tree grow I think because we'll probably put a road here or something, or put the... I don't know what we're going to do. It's just a road. <laughs> we can replace it later. Uh, we're going to put a trading shop here someplace. So we're trying to get the road to connect with that a little bit better, but for now, it's fine. Um, so we got food going pretty good. Look at this. Crops going. Like, gangbusters now. It's up to 38%. Uh, and this is only at 14%. See, it was growing faster than the other one. Oh, I hate to do it, but I almost want to put another worker in here. Um, or, let's see, it is early summer. Let's do this. Let's take one worker out of here. And let's put them over here. So we're changing this number so that this is this correlates with the actual crop fields. This is the total worker. So we're going to have three out of three workers over here. And this one is going to have one worker of the four. So that's what that means. So we got one worker over here, which is fine. This is growing a lot faster than these. And if we have to, we can switch it back. But I'd like to get that a little bit faster here. No one is working in there. Um, yeah. Let's see. So we got people in there. Gonna have a kid soon. There, there. Oh, that's a storage. We have a person there that's ready to move out, and that's it. So we have one person ready to move out. So we'll hold off on this house until we really need it. We got someone chopping wood. We got plenty of wood for them to chop. Let's just go ahead and have our laborers start clearing out some of this area. Let's see. The rain goes to here. So let's clear out this whole area. In case we decide to put some other farm or housing in here. Uh, let's just clear all of it since they can't get any of that. Perfect. Yeah, I'd really like it if they um, would collect this. See, this is the food that they collect from the gatherer's hut. Um, but when you tell your people to remove it, they don't get the food from it for some reason. Like, they chop trees and they get the wood. They chop or pick out the stones and iron and they get it. But when they destroy and get rid of the food, they don't get any food, which is kind of sad, because that's one of the biggest reasons. Look at this. 48 food. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put another worker into the fishery. Because <laughs> we do not want to run out of food right now. This is too early in the game to run out of food. And we're gonna have one builder. That's it. One builder is all we need. There we go. We got three laborers and one builder. You know what? Let's put another one in here. This is our only food that's coming in right now. Let's, uh, let's do this. Also, it's pretty cool. You do this. You click on this one, and it shows how productive they were. So last season, while we had it up, we collected 168 fish. So far, it's only collected 48. Um, if we go over here to the, our first farm, we click this. We got 1,500 corn last year. And so hopefully we get just as much squash, if not more. So that's a handy little thing to see how productive your people are, and if they're doing well or not. <laughs> so we gotta gather getting food here, that'll help with the fishermen. Um, what could else we do? They're slowly, slowly picking at that. Because we put everyone over there, but the laborers can do what they do. There's our builder finishing up this road that should help uh, speed up their little walking distance a little bit let's plan out some stuff here while we're waiting <laughs> winter I guess is really the time I usually build really um, I like them to build up stocks for the winter so a trading post we figured could go right over here like so um, can we manage it? Right there, perfect. Look at that, we got it lined up so it would work with our street. Even if we put the street in a little further, say right here. Um, but you know what, it would probably be best to maximize land property since this thing can go out in the water so much. So if we say we put it there, we're going to pause that for sure. We don't need that going right now. Um, I don't think I've mentioned this, but traders. Uh, there's no gold in this game. I think I mentioned that at least. So what happens is when you want to trade, say, for some cattle to start a pasture, you have to have something to trade back. So right now all we pretty much have is a surplus of wood. We don't have extra food. We don't have extra firewood. We don't have any minerals. Um, and our coats and stuff we need desperately. So right now we don't have anything to really barter with to actually get anything so there's no point in putting resources in something that we can't use um, market I never built citizens to collect food tools and fuel that don't really make sense to me because that's what this does they put the food in there and that's where they get their food could be some other use um, storage barn we don't need stockpile okay we could start production on something uh, you will need cemeteries later on, but right now we don't. Ooh, this. We're going to build a well. Because there are catastrophes in this game, and we really don't want to be unprepared when that happens. And one of them could be houses and stuff catching on fire. So right here is actually just enough space to put in one more house. Hmm. Let's put that there then. Pause that production. Okay. Where could we put our well? Um, let's see, if we put a road down the middle here. Let's do that. Let's plan this out. Let's say roads. We have enough space here. Let's put a road. Oh, say right there. Then we could put stuff on either side of this and we could continue this road and have businesses and houses whatever we need right there in the middle and let's put this well I think right around here or should we put it over here hmm I think this would be actually better I plan on building houses maybe over here so that the workers can get to it closer but then again all of our houses over here and I don't think it really hurts to have two wells so let's put one well there for sure then that'll be the next big project so let me remove these roads that they're not going to use. Done. Um, that's paused. So yeah, I think we have the resources for this. 40 stone. No, we do not have enough resources. Let's get some more stone, shall we? 
Um, I plan on putting more fisheries then. We're clear the stone out from over here then. There we go. Doesn't look like, oh, there's a little bit more there. Just one piece. There we go. Yeah, we're going to have to build at least one more fishery, I think, next year to help support us through the summer. Look at this. 56%. And it's still only at 15% with three workers. That doesn't make any sense there. I have no idea what's going on with our squash. And it is late summer. I'm ready to abandon the squash field. Let's do that. Let's get rid of one worker um, from the squash since he's not doing much good there. Let's put two back in there. Look at this. It's going up like crazy. That's insane. The faster we get this, the more sooner we can get some food going. And I can reinforce these people into this one. Because this... 18%. That's ridiculous. Um, I don't know what to do with that. I really don't. Maybe make a smaller squash pasture? Field? I don't know. What's this guy doing? He, um, citizens without jobs. Hmm. Oh, he's a farmer. Well, go farm, dude. Two. Yeah. And two and two. He was just confused. He was chopping a tree and he figured I should be farming but I'm chopping a tree. <laughs> okay. The wood is back up to 81. I'm going to pause that. Good. Let's get rid of that worker just in case so they don't get confused. They're going to gather up the last of their wood that they left here. That's fine. Uh, all the houses are full of wood and they have a little bit left so we can start production if it starts going down into winter time. So they got fishermen going here. The road is built there. Looks like we're just waiting on stone for this. Okay, so let's get these people going on stone. We have quite a bit over here, I think, still in these woods. Is there any? There's a little bit there. And there. Bam. Yeah, lucky we got this stone. Stone is actually pretty good to have for our later buildings, especially, say, a blacksmith. I'll show that one right now. Where is that? Resource production, right there. Blacksmith takes 55 stone and 32 iron and 32 wood. Right here. We're going to plan this one out too. Let's go ahead and set that one up right here next to this one. It doesn't really matter where it goes, but it's close enough to this because they will gather the wood and iron, I believe. Because I think they need the wood for the sticks or the handles and the iron. So that will be nice and close there, right down the street. And yeah, get a road going in there eventually, but yeah, get this going, just in case. Our luck, something happens and all of our stone houses burn down. You know, they're, they're made of stone, but they could still burn down, I think. 74, 21. Very disappointing in your squash. Very disappointed. Okay, let's check on our workers again. I wish I could keep this one up. It's very handy. Um, we got three laborers and two builders, so yeah, we should get that well going pretty soon. Let's speed up time a little bit. Oh, it is already. It's at two. I don't dare push it anymore. Reserve of stone is low. Yeah, I know that. Because we're making a well. Okay. Let's do this. I could build the world while they're getting the stone. Uh, one less worker is not going to make that much difference. And if we have to, we can start gathering stone and wood from over here as well. So there's some pockets left over here. And I'd rather start developing here. Because see, we got this this zone. That's why I kept clicking here. This ring shows up. And that's where our harvester, our gatherer, sorry, will gather stuff. So we don't want to build there. Because then that cuts down on where they can actually gather food. So this whole nice big chunk, we can actually start developing. But then again, we also need a forester eventually. Forester is the same big size. Oh, it's a woodcutter. My bad. Forester? There it is. So, yeah, they've got a big size circle. But we could actually put it down pretty good here. Yeah, we want it. Mm. Could always develop across the river, really. Or we could put the forester over here. That would be even simpler, actually. There is quite a bit, and there's not that much stone and stuff compared to over here, or open spaces. So this would be a good area for a hunter and a herbalist. 
Um, and this would be a good area for the foresting lodge. Mm -hmm. I'll have to think about that a little bit more. It's all about where you put it. Look at this. They're already harvesting it. Goodness gracious. This, 34%. <laughs> That's still early autumn. So what we're going to do is once they're done with this, um, for sure we're going to put them in there. Because they're going to have to harvest this pretty much soon. Um, and they already are. They're giving up on the squash, it looks like. It's not going to get any higher, so they're just going to start harvesting it because it is autumn. Um, they're going to make sure they get it in in time. That's fine. So let's see, do we have anyone working really? We could take a couple of these guys back out now and make sure we get these crops done. I'd really want to make sure these crops are gone. We can always get fish, but these crops, we don't want them to go to waste. So let's put another one in there, and let's put another one over here. So that's six, so let's bump that up to six now. So it's three and three. Pretty handy. I like that little customization. Mini, um, mini manorize. You know what I mean. Um, what's this now? Food is low. How is the food low? We're, get, we're getting food rapidly now. Because we don't have the fishermen going. That's fine. Stone. Still need stone, goodness. I got that stone they're still collecting. Okay, I don't want them selecting too much because then I have to backtrack. It's, um, there's no priorities. It's pretty much if you click on something, they're going to start doing it. And so if you click on too much, then you have to pretty much deselect it in order to tell them, no, don't do that anymore. The stockpile has some firewood in it for some reason. Who packed the firewood all the way over there? I will never know why. Um, I'm going to leave it though. So that they can put the stone in there a little easier. I wish it was like Nomoria where I could tell them what to put in these said stockpiles. Um, that would really help macro manage. That's what I meant to say. Micro manage. Um, so I could put like this over here. Be like, just put all this stone in this one. And if they need stone in town, they can go pack it. And this one, they can put all the wood so that the people who need wood for their firewood can go and get it there, you know? Just something like that would be helpful. Ooh. Okay, so they're getting food. Let's start planning out some more stuff. I'm thinking eventually I'm going to put in the school, but I did that one time and the school hinders pretty much in the beginning because of that. Oh, what's this though? He used to heal diseases. That's expensive. But it would be, um... Something we should think of. Hmm. What's this? Reserve of stone is low. I know it's slow. <laughs> Let's plan out for the herb garden area. I think we're going to put it down here. Close enough that we can get it, but close enough or far enough that it's not so trouble. Actually, we could put it out here. But no. I'm going to. Oh, that's right. I'm just going to put the forester out here. That's right. And I was going to put this guy over here with the uh, hunter. Okay, let's do that. Let's plan this out. The road's there. Then again, we're going to have another road going here. Oh, goodness. It's hard to plan out this far away. I think... Oh, I don't want to put it too far away. I always put it too far away, and then I kind of shoot myself in the foot. Let's put it out here right here. We're going to pause that too. And I'm not going to put the road, but at least we know where we can put it. We can put it directly right here. And then we'll put the um, hunter over there, because next summer, winter we're going to need more coats. Our coats are down to nine. Look at this. It looks like it's almost still growing as they're chopping it down. <laughs> That's ridiculous. 38%. Oh, it's growing too. Now it's growing. Silly squash. Well, I think that'll be it for this episode. We watched some grow, uh, some squash grow a little bit. <laughs> we got some stuff planned out. We got some projects going here. We're going to have this for a backup. Oh, look, it's almost done. Uh, safety first. Want to make sure we have a well for fires. And I think we're going to we're going to get this going down here. Some projects going because it's going to be winter, so we'll have more workers. So I'll see you guys there.